Hello and welcome to the 17th video in my series on getting started with AutoCAD. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to be talking about plotting from model space. Now so far we've gone over a whole bunch of little basics about how to get around AutoCAD, but we haven't really done anything with actually generating drawings. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's go ahead and start by just making some geometry here really quick. I'm going to switch my units real fast. Oops, here we are. We're at architectural units. And I'm going to, uh, to start by drawing a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to do my rectangle. I'm going to start it at 0, 0. And it's going to go over uh, 8.5, and it's going to go up 11. So there's our sheet of 8.5 by 11, effectively. So I'm just going to draw in here. So I'm going to draw a circle and a line. I'm going to trim that. There we go. Draw another circle here. I'm going to go ahead and trim those out. Okay, so we just have some basic geometry here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plot this really quick. So in order to do this, go ahead and type the command plot. And this will bring up the plot dialog. Now, up top here you'll notice you have the option to pick up a, a printer or a plotter. And the one that we're going to pick is going to be the DWG to PDF. This is a fairly standard option in AutoCAD. I think I've seen a couple different versions that didn't have it, but for the most part, everyone should have this. Uh, if you don't have that, there's a, another PDF writer that you can download called Cute PDF. It's free. Uh, we're going to stick with DWG to PDF for now. And you'll notice that this gives us different page sizes as different options. So we're going to stick with, uh, with ANSI A, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. And now we want to pick what we're going to plot. And you have the option to pick the display, right, which is everything you can see on your screen right now, this whole thing. You have the option to print, pardon, to print the extents, um, which is the extents of the drawing. So if, if your drawing is big, you can, you can do it that way. You can do the limits of the drawing, which we'll, we'll talk about limits another, another time, but you've, you've probably run into the... Uh, at some point you've probably run into this issue where you go to zoom out and you can't zoom out anymore. That's because you're hitting the drawing limits. Or you can do a window and you can select a window and plot whatever's inside that window. And that's what we're going to plot here. We're actually going to plot from there to there. You notice it wants to rotate it. So let's go ahead and make sure that that stays oriented the way we'd like it. So we'll go ahead and select that we want portrait drawing orientation. And we can preview it here really quick. I'm going to center it really, really fast here as well. So we can preview it, and you can see we've got our rectangle that we drew and our objects inside. Now, right now, this isn't drawn to any kind of scale. This is just fit to the paper. So let's pick a scale on this. Specifically, let's say this is drawn one-to-one. -one. You'll notice here that when we select one-to-one, -one, all of a sudden we get this red border around here, and that means that our drawing extends beyond the limits of the of the sheet of the the plot. But if you preview it, you'll notice we don't have the border, but everything is the exact size that it would be plotted. We can pick additional scales as well. So let's say we want to print this out at three to one. Let's go ahead and preview it, and that's okay. So what this is telling us is that our annotation scale, which is down here which is set to one-to-one, -to -one, isn't the same as the scale that we were plotting at. We're going to go ahead and continue. And you'll notice this comes in at three-to-one. So let's go ahead and plot this out one-to-one -one and take a look. Here we are, one-to-one. -one. The rest of these options here we're going to come back to in another video. I would recommend leaving them the way that they are, though. Specifically, we're going to come back to plot styles. Um, as this is this is a pretty big component of of doing your plots. So let's go ahead and click OK, and it's going to ask where we'd like to save this. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it 
I have to forgive my desktop here. I'm going to stick it on my desktop. And we're going to go leave it, queue it, and call it whatever you'd like. Go ahead and click Save. And up comes our PDF viewer. And this is a full blown PDF. You can plot from here. And you'll notice this is. Um, I gotta find out how to zoom in this thing. This is vector art. So if you're familiar with the difference between raster art and vector art, you'll notice that this is all vectors. So that's plotting from a from model space in a in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was great, life changing, go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring you more of them. And I will see you in the next video.